Cookie Baker Simmons and welcome back to my channel. Please remember to hit the like button so I know what content to continue to create. And please subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Now I'm really, really excited because I am taking you behind the scenes of my new movie, The Sugar Farm Twist. I'm so excited to share this experience with you. I mean, creating this film was a dream come true for me. My mom loves Hallmark Christmas movies and I've been dying to do something that she and all her little church friends could actually enjoy together. And oh, did I mention we shot this film in 15 days? Yes. 15 days of intense filming condensed into what an hour and a half of television but hey it's all pure enjoyment and I loved every moment of it from watching them create the sets to my favorite the fake snow oh my god it's so exhilarating when you show up on set and they have the snow there and it just makes you feel like Christmas and even in that moment so, but most importantly, I really wanted to give you some insight into what it takes to put together a quality film. I'm often asked about my job and what it looks like being on set. And I don't know about you, but I'm a very visual person and I believe that this is the best way to show you my producer life. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy my exclusive behind the scenes of Sugar Plum Twist. Christmas story, but how do we relate it to something that we love? And a few years ago, I got invited to a party in Cuba, followed by a party in Cartagena, mm -hmm. and I was told, Gringo, you can't dance, <laughs> so you need to take a salsa class. And I walk into Eddie Torres, who is a New York salsa oh, yeah. teacher's class, and I hear, <laughs> La Clave. And I'm like, oh my God. See, we have to take this classic, the Nutcracker, and mix it with something Latin. And we actually came up with the end of this movie first. We came up with the Sugar Plum Twist. We kind of heard the music, but we needed Babe Allende, a Puerto Rican um, music director, to bring it to life for us. And we said, this story is going to be about rejection because we were rejected. But guess what comes out of rejection? It's like the broken road that leads you to what you're, where you're meant to be, right? So we came up with the end first. Yeah. And we pitched it, and we got rejected. Yeah. And then we pitched it to Lifetime, and they said, we, I'm sorry, to yeah. Hallmark. And they said, we love this idea. Samantha, an executive at Hallmark, and said, please come in and talk to us. Yeah. And honestly, since that moment, mm -hmm. right, they've embraced yeah. us. Yeah. And I forget one part. A friend of Tracy's, Cass Seeger, mm -hmm. a former ballerina, an African-American woman, and an amazing writer, yep. helped us develop the story. Mm -hmm. So we started with the Sugar Plum Twist, which mm -hmm. we just recorded mm -hmm. on Friday, and we bet, went backwards. Yep. What would Vivi's story be? Who would her parents be? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then we thought about Hallmark, and we were like, oh, it has to be in Middle America. And I was like, oh, my brother lived in Virginia, and they had, my niece was in this ballerina ballet big company and then I like googled it and then I was like oh they have this huge Puerto Rican population in Richmond Virginia Who knew? let's look it up and see what happens there and then we start putting the pieces together and like knowing that we could set it in a place where the Hallmark audience would embrace it and then we vowed from the beginning to fight for the cultural relevance of each and every character and that it would have a representation of America and not just one bucket of this country but each and every type of individual that existed in the space would have a voice and be able to be their authentic selves in this movie right. and that we would always if it was going to be a Puerto Rican Christmas story have a Puerto Rican mom or dad be the person that was authentically Puerto Rican sharing that story with this 
family and with this country and with America. So we look forward to this Christmas, people seeing this special, special, very, very integrated, very, very American story that represents each and every one of us that have come here and are a part of what makes this country amazing. To be successful, we have to put you with synthetic cinemas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we were scared. To yeah. be honest, we were scared. Yeah. But honestly, we are blessed to have you guys yeah. help us tell the story. Because we had <laughs> no idea how this could happen in 15 days. <laughs> exactly. And we knew that they wanted, they said they wanted to set up, us up for, for success, success. And they yeah. did. Yep. Yep. And we also um, needed a director. Mm. And we had Woo! seen some Woo! Hallmark movies. And yeah. we loved yeah. One of the yeah. movies that Eric did, yeah. so we chose Eric. And yeah. by the way, is Jamie here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, where's Jamie? Is Jamie! That? Oh, we had to wait for you to say yes for I don't know how long, but yeah. thank yeah, God she Jamie. finally did. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jamie was like, <laughs> and Jamie wanted to be her authentic self. So we said yes. So yes. Natalia is Lebanese. Latina, yes. Yes. and we were blessed with Hector, mm. and we were blessed with Jalen, and we were definitely Lauda. Is Lauda here? Yeah. Lauda, for yeah. sure. Yes. I said since day one, yes. was Vivi yeah. come to life? Yes. How can we find yep. somebody who can act, dance ballet on point, and also do salsa? Yes. So we were blessed with her, yes. and Gustavo, and Nicole. Yes. And honestly, everybody in this room, we don't, oh, we did not know each other. We are all strangers, but we are all artists. Yeah. And you were all part of this new mosaic. And it's only a Hallmark movie, but it's going to be seen by millions of oh, people. 100%. Honestly, I never realized how many fans Hallmark has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking about this. Telling people. So honestly, yeah. you guys, these 15 days have been, this has been the most ambitious project to get. Yeah done in 15 days and we only went over a twice. A few times. <laughs> a few times. Anyway, oh, oh, wait, and I do want to say every department here, we have been blessed with all of your talents, honestly, yes. but if there is an MVP, can we just call out art and props? Yeah. So have made every day, you guys, like, you didn't sleep and you made that theater and all of the scenes look amazing and honestly like yeah. we are eternally grateful to everybody so they did, yeah, not, sleep. They did not sleep and <laughs> Francis and Nicole yeah. oh and let's let's just talk about Eden yes and Francis were like trucking up to Harlem when we were it was like, so important yes. to us that we have someone to yeah. match Pam who is an Afro Latina person who's not here today that her daughter be an African, a dark skinned person, awesome. and that she be on point, and that yes. she be as great yes. as all those wonderful snowflakes yeah. that came from the Nutmeg Company. Yeah. And thank you, Lord, we achieved that as well. Yeah. So, anyway, I know we're taking up extra time, but we do have a little token of our appreciation. For each no and one will ever you. think about the Nutcracker the be same again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, thank you.
right here tonight. We shot the opening earlier and now we're shooting the closing. I should take this mask off so you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> this is it. We are filming the final couple of scenes of the movie. Uh, really the ending of the movie. It's three scenes to cover the party after the big performance. Um, and then there's some cute kissing moments that happen. And then it's a wrap. 15 days, 105 pages later, we will watch a beautiful Christmas story. Are you ready for the kids? <laughs> I, was, I was born ready. What are you talking about? Did you practice? I specifically on my hand, yeah. You what? Specifically on my hand, I just, you know. Oh, work okay. The technique, you know. Really? Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> that sounds so weird. How are you feeling, Jamie? Good. You're tired. Tired. <laughs> are you ready for your final kiss? I'm ready. Brush my teeth. <laughs> Hello, my name is Hector Rivera. And how excited are you to be doing a Christmas movie about your home country? <laughs> I can't explain how excited I am because it's rare to have like this kind of story. So I want to put my passion and my energy in this movie. And I, and I really want to people to know what it's about, what is Christmas is about for, for us in Puerto Rico. And how's Natalia? <laughs> Huh? How was Natalia? Great. <laughs> She's really great, sweet, super sweet. The whole cast are super sweet, and uh, I'm really blessed for this. 15 days, it's sure to be to do a movie, but uh, you know we were super integrated, and that's really nice. So thank you. And how much do you love Tracy, the producer? <laughs> Tracy, hmm. what should I say at Tracy? No, that's the thing. And I, it's not because you're doing the camera thing, but I thank you very much for making us feel home and ask too many questions to us to maintain this product and this movie. It's super legit and nice. So I really appreciate that. And I hope it don't, it's not the last time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Roll Sam, roll A. All right, room touch, roll A. Quiet, please. Cut on tone. First off, let's uh, thank you to Background Seventeen. <laughs> You guys know. 
know what the pressure that we were under and the time that we we had to just go, go, go. And you guys were so on your game that I cannot thank you enough because I've, I've seen it the other way around and uh, it's tough <laughs> when you're trying to work with people or trying to find their way through. But you guys came prepared, you rocked it out. I was so grateful. I mean, sometimes we were doing things in one take. So thank you a lot. Love you all. Wow.